going on guys this is one and only travel time with paul make sure you like this video like and subscribe share this video now you guys probably looking dang he sending an american-made car even though they got american-made cars in thailand too like ford and some chevys but you guess wrong but if if you guess whether or not i'm in the matrix or not you're right i just got big not too long ago i'm over here to take care of some business affairs i run a couple of small business and then after i'm done i'm on to the next country and it does feel a little good to be back it's a little chilly it's crazy going from 80 some degree weather being on the beach back to this bipolar weather that they got back over here in the matrix but it is what it is it feel good to be back eating uh memphis style hot wings and spaghetti once again so but i won't i won't get used to eating that garbage while i'm here because uh i got used to eating thailand food so i won't consume so much american food or whatever plus i'm, I'm getting back in shape or whatnot but i digress the title of this video is guys don't bring your heart to Pati part seven now i know there's a lot of guys been coming to my comment section getting in their feelings because i've been making these series and, and let me tell you guys i'm not making these series because a thai woman hurt me you can ask anybody that i know you can ask yoga the guy that's that's in muay thai i told him my third money thailand why ain't the youtubers talking about the cons and the dark side of thailand they tell you about all the good things, how you can meet a traditional woman, how Thailand is just a utopia, how uh, everything is just perfect. So when I went up to the Marshall Bar for the first time, Dante, every, when he meets you, he likes to introduce you to, every, to all the other brothers that's at the Marshall Bar or whatever. So, and I ran across yoga for the first time. And one of the guys asked me, how you liking Thailand? What do you think? I told him, it's okay, I like it. I like the cheap cost of living. It's safe for the most part, but it ain't as safe as they trying to make it out the same, but it is safer than most countries. So they asked me, what do you think about it so far? You met your girlfriend yet? And that's when I said, man, how come the YouTubers ain't talking about the cons and how shady and, man and manipulative and conniving the women can be? They only talk about the good things. Why ain't nobody covering that? So right then and there, a light bulb went off in my head. This was back in uh January. Before I met the lady that y'all saw me in the video with, I, the, in, in the video where I was showing Austin Holloman around my condo, this was way before that. So all you, so, so for all you dudes who probably ain't never left the country yet, quit wondering why I'm, quit thinking I'm making these videos. Then no Thai woman hurt my feelings. I just wanted to be the guy to cover the cons and uh and uh bad things that can happen to a lot of the guys if they don't come over. If, if they lead them with their wallet and their heart, they could get taken advantage of quicker than they could in america so all the guys that keep saying the matrix this the matrix that let's start let's start talking about what's really going on in these other countries that we visiting because it ain't all peaches and cream the secret is already coming out about what's going on in colombia so no one can no longer hide that and it's coming out about thailand too now that ain't to say that these places are bad places and you shouldn't visit them at all it's just safe to do your research stop being thirsty you stop being so damn thirsty that you thinking with your smart head when you get to these places you ain't watching your surrounding you too busy thinking about that beautiful colombian woman you just met out tender and now you're getting shot at three times or whatever because you were thinking with your small head or now you're in a hotel somewhere and knocked out because somebody used scope of me because you met oh and, and let me and my mom on that subject guys learn this ain't i'm not talking down on you guys i'm just giving you guys the game for these other countries tender and bumble they sites period does not work the same as it does in america so let me move this out the way so if you got bad social skills you need to work on that because for all these guys it, it, when you get to thailand when you go to brazil when you go to colombia when you go to turkey you can cold approach women if they turn you down a lot of times it'll be in a polite way they won't be as mean as aggressive as a lot of the women in uh, the matrix or whatever stop meeting these women on these dating sites that pre-game shit does not work in these other countries on these dating sites especially a place like colombia tender to tender to be exact I ain't nothing on tender in colombia but set them up chicks when you go to thailand I ain't nothing on tender but lady boys and freelancers when you go to the philippines I ain't nothing on tender but a lot of fr freelancers and then the women on tender and bumble that ain't freelancers You'll be lucky if you meet one of them in person. You know why? Because once you start getting on the date scene, you, you once you try, once you when you trying to date, talk to these women on the international level on these dating scenes, you competing with guys all over the world, especially a place like Thailand, 
which is one of the most visited countries in the world or whatever. Stop thinking that you're the only guy that she's talking to. I don't care if she's not a freelancer. When you get on Tinder and Bumble and Top Friendly, you compete with other guys that's so desperate they ain't even went to Thailand yet that they sending these women money before they get there. That's what you gotta compete with. So you better out wait until you get to these countries and uh, walking down the street somewhere and meeting these women face to face or whatever. Stop doing the dating sites. If you socially awkward, maybe it's best you shouldn't visit these places at all and just stay in America or whatever. And, and you'll have a better chance on surviving versus going to Colombia and a chick using scope of me or you in a hotel somewhere strip naked, shot in the middle of your forehead or something. So, and I want to tell you guys that using top friendly. If, you, if you're not looking for pay for play, do not use top friendly. Top friendly is an easy way to meet freelancers. 90% of the women that's on top rent women are looking for customers only. So if you're on top friendly thinking you're gonna look for a normal woman in a relationship, you got the game all wrong. And then a lot of the women that's not on top friendly, that's, that's not freelancers, they lady boys, but most of them are uh, freelancers. That's why, dating, uh, that's why dating sites don't work outside of America. It does not work the same. Now, let's get into the topic of this video. Guys, don't bring your heart to party up hard seven. Now, a few weeks before I left Thailand, I was hanging out with a friend girl of mine from uh, Pattaya. She originally from Isan, but she's been in Pattaya for six years. She's a freelancer. Now, when I don't feel like using the boat app to get around or get a motorbike, I can always call on her and she'll give me a ride around the town or whatever, a lot of times for free. So it was one of them days I needed to run somewhere and I called over to give me a ride. And when I, when I got done taking a shower, I went and sat down on the couch next to her because if y'all saw my condo, there's only one love seat in there or whatever. And I'm looking, and she's showing me all the messages of all the, it's, it was four African-American men and it was one guy, white guy from the UK. She's showing me the messages of all these guys who haven't even been to the country of Thailand yet, sending her large amount of money. Now, I'm gonna go back to what I just said. She's a freelancer, but she haven't been dealing with a lot of customers, like in a few weeks and a few days. So she had a lot of time on her hand. Do you guys know why? Because if these guys in these other countries, they haven't arrived to the to Thailand yet, already sending her a lot of money, why the hell do she need to mess with customers? She, she living life on easy mode. And I read one of the guys' message. And he said, I can't wait to get to Pattaya. I love you. I want you to be my wife when I get there. And I asked her, I said, Did you, have you ever met this guy in person? She said, no, he's never been to the country. He just got his passport six weeks ago. And he was planning on, he, he's planning on coming to Thailand in the beginning of May, but he's already in love with a woman he's never met. Now they FaceTime every day and he sends her $150 a week. Man, I said to myself, but these guys wonder why I keep making these series. Guys, don't bring your heart to Pattaya. Maybe I should say, guys, don't bring your wallet to Pattaya too, unless you plan on being a major trick. But you got guys already tricking, they ain't even made it to the country yet. Oh, it get worse, y'all. Continue to listen. So, there was another guy she was dealing with before I met her or whatever, back in November. Some big guy from Milwaukee or whatever. He sent her a total of 3,000 US dollars, man. And y'all wanna know what make that situation bad? He flew all the way to Thailand and he couldn't even get in the country. They turned him around. But let me tell the story before I get to that part first. So, he been talking to, he met her off of Thai Friendly. He been talking to her for months at a time and he been sending her a lot of damn money. Now I'ma tell y'all the truth. This woman didn't manipulate him into sending that money. He chose to send his money. Now, I, I, now what it was, she sweet talked down. She fit, friendly, and submissive. At least that's what they thinking and they home. But when they, once they get over to Thailand and get to know this woman, they gonna really see she evil. Now she laid back, she down to earth, she cool. And I've never had an intimate relationship with this woman. I always only call her to give me a ride whenever I needed to go somewhere. So this guy started sending her a bunch of money and they would video time every single day. And they, they made the relationship official without even meeting each other yet. Then finally he got his passport and he arrived to the uh, Bangkok airport. He, he flew, he paid $2,000 for a ticket, got all the way to the airport just for them to turn him around, just for them to turn him around or whatever. Now before they turned them around, he was on video chat with her and she crying real tears, y'all. Like she really cared what was about to happen to him. That's why I told you guys in part one and two, they ain't got enough Oscar for Thai women. This lady put on such a good performance on video with him. 
he bought into it. But he later learned two weeks later that it was all smoke and mirror. So they they uh did a little investigation on why he couldn't enter the country or whatever. She never told me why he didn't tell her. Well, I don't know what type of background he had, but I've never heard of nobody getting turned around. Uh, not not able to get their visas when they get to the airport. They getting sent all the way back to America. That's the first time I've ever heard of that. So he gets sent back to the USA. Then once he arrives back to Milwaukee, guess what he does? He calls her up, tells her, I'm going to send you $1,000. I want you to buy you a plane ticket and, and fly to Mexico and sneak across the border. I'll meet you at the border. How desperate can you be, guys? That's why I keep making these series. Don't bring your heart to Patia. Because you got a you got a lot more guys out there that's coming from America than y'all think as this. So for all my guys don't understand why I'm making these series and they thinking the top woman hurt my feelings and I say I'm hurting, disgruntled and bitter. Nope, I'm doing this because I'm warning brothers. Don't be a sucker. Wait until you get to Thailand and if you want to spend that kind of money, that's your business. But at least wait until you get to the country, then you can make your own decision whether or not it'll be foolish enough for you to spend thousands of US dollars on a woman that you ain't met before or that you barely know. Cause you better believe it's 10 more other guys doing the same thing as you doing, but they probably ain't spending as much, they, they probably not spending as much money as you spending. So he sends this lady a thousand dollars and tell her to fly into Mexico and come across the border. Cause y'all know right now, you got a lot of immigrants just coming across the border from Ukraine, from uh, Mexico, from damn near everywhere. So. He thought it would be a bright idea for, for her to do that. <clears throat> not, don't, not knowing he was putting her life on the line. Anything could happen to this young lady. Then she can't speak Spanish and she's never even been to another damn country before. She doesn't even have her passport. So I don't know what the hell he was thinking to send this lady a thousand dollars. So let me tell you what she did with a thousand dollars. She took it and she didn't call him for like three to four days. So finally he kept blowing her uh, WhatsApp up and she answered it. She went from crying because they were sending him back to America to having a stone cold look on her face. And he was like, what's wrong with you? What do you want? He said, I, I, you bought your black plane ticket to Mexico yet? I'm waiting on you. This idiot drove all the way to Texas really thinking this lady was going to fly to Mexico and meet him at the border. Now, Milwaukee to the, to the south of the border of Texas is far as hell. It take a couple of days to get there if you, if you don't feel like driving. Damn near 18 hours or better to the damn border. I'm like, really, man, you couldn't wait till you talk to her again and video chat with her to confirm that she actually bought her ticket, even though anybody with common sense knew she wasn't going to do it. But you couldn't wait until she sent you a message that she bought the ticket, then drive to the border. The whole idea was stupid anyway. So she said, I'm not leaving my country. I don't even have my passport yet. He said, well, what you waiting for? Go get it. I don't plan on getting it no time soon. So he cried. He got in his feelings. He threw a fit and he started cussing her out. You played me. I'm going to put you on blast. I'm going to put you on blast or whatever. You took my money. You misused. You, mani you manipulated me. She told him, I didn't tell you to send no money to me. You chose to send that money to me. You said I was fit, friendly, and submissive. And uh, that you want me to be your wife. So when you got here, you wanted to lock me down. You chose to do that. I didn't tell you to do that. He said, well, can you at least send the money back? She hung up on him while they was on WhatsApp. And then she blocked him. She told me all this. And I saw the conversations. She showed me proof. She showed me all the receipts. So I was thinking like, man, you really got guys that's not even in the country yet doing this. Then she showed me another brother who's actually about to come to the country in May. I think so far, he sent her a total of $1,500 uh, within a few weeks or whatever. He's been sending her money every week. He sent his lady $1,500 US dollars. Now, this woman was living better than a lot of the guys that's coming to the country visiting. I think all together this lady is getting 4,000 US dollars a month, including the guy that's living in the UK, and she's living great. Her condo looked better than mine, guys. I wish I could have did a video or two around her condo. Her condo made my shit look like the projects. And you know why? Because you got a lot of guys in America and in, in, in Australia and the UK and all these other westernized countries. They so damn desperate. They don't bought into a lot of the lies the other YouTubers don't told them. And they really do think Asian women are fit, friendly, and submissive. They, they, don't, they don't really think, they think these women are flawless. Women are women everywhere you go. It, the only thing that makes them different is the culture and they upbringing. But when it comes to money, money is always the motive for them to do evil things to, to the next individual. So 
The guy that's on his way to uh, Pattaya or Thailand or whatever, if you ever run across this video, you probably know the woman I'm talking about. Stop sending that lady money, man. She's getting money from other, uh, four or five more other guys. You're not the only one. But I got to know her and I, I could kind of understand if you if you got a weak mind, why you would send this uh, woman money? Cause she's very attractive and she has a sweet voice, but she's anything but sweet. This woman is evil. I, I've seen a lot of things she did to her customers or whatever. When she, uh, I asked her to come and pick me up and take me to the Central Mall one time. Before we went to the Central Mall, she stopped by any and got a house or whatever. And I heard them going back and forth. And then he came out, not, not a house, a uh, condo. He followed her all the way downstairs from the condo to her motorbike because I was outside waiting on her. And he was cussing. He thought I was one of her customers too. So he started really talking noise to her. You mf -er, you played me. Uh, I spend all my money on you and this is how you do me. I tell you get out of the life and you still mess with other customers. And she started uh, going off on him too. Now, if y'all heard this woman cussing, y'all probably would've thought she was from Oakland, California. But she just had an Asian accent. And I'ma tell a lot of you guys, they want, they want to avoid the nonsense and really looking for a good Asian woman that, if you come to these Asian countries. That includes South Korea, that includes the Philippines, that includes Thailand, that includes Cambodia. If you run across an Asian woman that listen to a lot of rap and hip hop, cause you better believe they ain't listening to the rap and hip hop that we grew up off Public Enemy, a tribe called Quest and all that. They listening to the low vibration hip hop and they get indoctrinated by, that, by the glow realists by the Megan Thee Stallion, by the Cardi B's, by the Nicki Minaj. That's what they listening to. Run, run as fast as you can. Run like a track star. Get away from that woman. Unless you're just trying to have fun with her and just trying to enjoy your time with her just for a couple of days, that's cool. But if you're trying to have a serious relationship with her, she's not the one. Now, don't think because you like rap, you gotta have your Asian woman that like rap. It doesn't affect y'all the same. You probably have a strong mind and a good head on your shoulders. And you probably got a lot of stuff going on and you probably be a positive person. But rap affect women different mentally. Look at the women in the matrix. How y'all think they became the way they came? It's that damn rap, the rap that you've heard in the last 10 years, it influenced them. Uh, Hot Girl Summer. Uh, if you ain't got the bag, I don't wanna talk to you. Take a nigga credit card when he go to sleep, city girls. So what y'all think it's starting to do to these women in the poor countries? The same damn thing. So avoid her at all costs. Now, that'll be the end of this episode. Guys, don't bring your hearts to Pati out part seven. Make sure you like and subscribe, share this video. I'll be dropping another video tomorrow. My experience with a Thai woman. Now, I've had great experience with Thai women too. I don't wanna make this a one dimension channel, make it seem like I'm just bashing Thai women or whatever. This is not a channel to bash, uh, bash Thailand or Thai women. There's a lot of great women in Thailand, but a lot of the tourist guys are not going after those type of women. They going after the low hanging fruits. They going after the bar girls. They going after the, the uh, they going after the women in these nightclubs. If you know damn well you can't go to a nightclub in America and meet a woman with substance, what make you think you can meet a woman with substance in the DR, in Colombia, in Brazil, in Thailand? They, they got the same mentality. They just in another country. And they just speak a different language. It's the same shit. It just ain't as bad as America yet, but it's starting to get there. It's getting there quicker than I thought it would be. I've, I've been in Thailand six months and I watched it change in a blink of an eye, quick. I remember I was at 808 uh, about a couple of months ago. And then you had an American guy who's really looking for love and happiness. He walked in, a, he came to it because he watched a certain YouTuber. I don't know what he was thinking. The YouTuber said, if you want to find a decent Thai woman, start off at 808 if you come to Pattaya. Man, I could have, man. That's why I'm making these series to tell y'all, nah, that place is where women go to work and look for Johns. That is not a place for a serious relationship. But he walked in 808, and before he can get step foot in 808, he stopped, he looked around, and he shook his head. And the first thing he thought is, how is this any better, how is this any different than an American nightclub? He said it really never felt like he got on a plane and went to another country when he walked in 808. It was the same shit. Women twerking, women quoting all the lyrics to a Glorilla song, uh, with women walking around, rolling their eyes with attitude. It was the same thing. So guys, if you looking for a woman with substance, don't go to these nightclubs and these other countries. Avoid them at all costs. And if you don't know how to have a conversation with these women, because remember, conversation rule the nation. Without communication, you can't have a good, healthy relationship. So 
Don't always lead with your wallet. Leading with your wallet ain't always the answer. Guys that's leading with their wallets don't know how to hold a good conversation. They don't know how to communicate well with women. Now, I know y'all gonna say you're gonna eventually have to lead with your wallet anyway, but it's a difference. If I'm in a relationship with a woman and she really love being around me, I ain't saying she gotta love me, but she really likes being around me or whatever. I ain't no wrong with me taking her out to a dinner. Uh, we been together for a long time. I take her shopping. And in return, she do the same thing with, uh, with me or whatever. Because I'm going to tell you guys, you can find it in Thailand. If you find a woman who ain't always trying to spend your money, keep her ass. They do, exist, they do exist in Thailand. All women in Thailand ain't looking for a guy to take care of them. Don't believe that myth. There are good women that, that, that ain't looking for your money. They just want a good guy. They looking for a husband or a good boyfriend. And they don't need your money. They got their own money. So that's the end of this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'm out.